Hi everybody, it's David Thompson here from the Shipbuilding X channel. Um, as you can see here, I've got something a bit different. I've managed to import a Stormworks model from Spider here, it's the Stormwind OSV, into a game engine. Uh, this could be any game engine, but I've happened to have it in uh, XR Studio, which is the game engine from uh, where I work at Aviva. It's very good for handling large models, um, especially of, of real ships. Um, but I really wanted to show you uh, this in VR. I've been very keen to try out what Stormworks models look like in VR. So I've managed to get it in here and I want to show you what this looks like in VR. So you should now hopefully see what I see in VR, my hands in front of me, this box. And yeah, I'm here, I'm sitting on my office chair actually with an Oculus Quest 2 on running Air Link. And uh, I'm getting a very smooth view in the glasses, but I think the the view which you're getting there on the screen is not quite as smooth. So excuse the, the jitters there. And I'll just do a little quick tour um, of this vessel. I normally do these in my sea trials. And this is the first one that I'm going to do in VR. So we'll start up the back. I'm a little bit high here and the controls are a bit wonky. Um, but as you can see here, this has been brought in at one to one scale. Here's the two big winches at the back, uh, the buttons there, you know, nice and big. That's a, a sort of pretty much normal hand size. And I'll just uh, do a little tour here in VR and just talk about my experiences, I think, in this video. Um, so the working deck feels like a big, a big boat. I mean, it feels like a, a ship, probably over 100 foot uh, in real life. Well, actually, I've got some tools in here that allow me to do some measuring. So, oh, a little bit of a strange interface. So now uh, let's just measure from the crane to the aft end of the vessel. So that's a 17 meter deck. The crane here approximately five meters high. So it's not as big as a real OSV. Um, you know, in Stormworks, the creators scale them down, but it certainly feels like a big boat. It feels like you could have containers in here. Let's just check the distance between here. Uh, sorry, it's still that one. So yeah, is that seven meter long container? I think there are containers. Maybe that is the size of a real container, if anybody knows. Um, um, and of course, the thing about being in VR, which is hard to tell if you've not tried it yourself, is that it feels very different from looking at a 3D model in space. So first of all, as I move around, I can see um, the, the parallax effect as, as things move, and it just feels like I'm here. I've got the feeling of presence. I can go in here, and of course, if I stand up, and again, if I oh, kneel down here to get this hose, I really do kneel down and see a different perspective. So this is what VR is all about. So let's continue the tour. I just have to walk through these doors. It's not in the Stormworks engine, so the logic doesn't work. Um, I've got some funny things going on here with lighting. Lighting is actually streaming through some of the geometry here, but it's quite nice. It gives me a little bit of visibility. The other thing is that the windows, um, you need to go into Blender and add a transparent material to get those to render properly. And the other thing, in case people are watching this, is that the whole vessel is flipped. So I've managed to um, flip it around its center line. However, it's enough for me to get a feeling for um, what this feels like. You know, this door here is a little bit less than the size I would need to get through. It's like one of these doors you have to duck down to get in, which many ships have. The bed here is not quite real scale, but these are all things which are acceptable. After all, it's a game. And these windows, again, not transparent, but I'm pretty sure they'll be cool once I do get them in with transparency. Um, would really like to find a way to fly forward here using the buttons. No, I don't. I don't have the control scheme that I used to have. Um, yeah, so here's your medical area and that uh, access to the bridge here. That's what triggered me to realize it was the wrong way around. Um, 
And again, that glass missing really makes a big difference. Here's the crew operator seat. So let's see if I can just tweak it up a tiny bit. And I would normally have this great view of the deck, which I've had to slide outside to see. Um, uh, this area feels pretty big. You know, there's plenty of space in here. It does feel like a real bridge. It's it's great, you know, to have that sort of wraparound window. And of course, when you're in VR, so again, I'll just try to tweak my height here. You can actually feel what it's like to sit in one of these um, pilot seats here. So in, in Stormworks, this is actually a heads up to display. It's transparent. This is the key that you turn for all spiders, creations. And these screens here would displace weather, uh, engine, radar, as far as I remember. And that's a gimbaled camera. But in VR, I can turn around like this and see behind me um, and still flip switches in front of me, potentially. Uh, and of course, I'd have all this nice tactical um, flipping of switches, like in DCS, um, which is really cool when you're in VR. So first impressions are, um, you know, Stormworks would be amazing in VR, even just a, a VR sort of viewing mode of the vessels would be cool. I think it's a great way for people to have tours. I would say that when the vessel is going to be rolling around, you know, and, and moving, you, you would feel pretty bad in VR pretty quickly. Um, but I would still buy it. I would still love to play something like Stormworks in VR. Um, I know that the game is not optimized for that just now. There's there's so much going on in physics, but I could imagine, um, yeah, somewhere in the future that the devs figure out how to kind of delaminate the physics from uh, the, the visualization engine and manage to get it to run a little bit smoother. And one day you never know, maybe Stormworks 2 is something that would be able to run in VR. Uh, but just imagine standing here with your friends and doing some of the operations in Stormworks, like standing up the back here and guiding the main rope in. So give a, you know, pay out some more winch, pay out some more winch, all this kind of stuff. I think it would be a very good collaborative game to play in VR. Um, great fun just to inspect the creations here, you know, to see the scale of these things that you, you can't really tell. So that's the thrusters here. Here's the big propeller. I've got some rendering issue here, but you can see that's that's really big. You know, it's, it's two meters high probably. Um, so completely different experience in VR, but really cool. And I think um, some of the Stormworks creators might appreciate this video. I'll do a few more tours in VR. There's a little bit of a, a workflow required to get the models in. I have to export in PLY format, import to Blender, add the textures, flip the faces, and then the FBX that I can export from Blender goes straight into any game engine. Um, yeah, if you want to know how to do this in Unity, let me know. It's pretty easy to set up a VR app in Unity. This happens to be um, our game engine at Aviva. And I'll show you why in the next video, because I'm going to compare some of um, the Stormworks creations in size to real CAD models, or effectively in VR, real vessels. Um, and start to talk about digital twins a little bit more. But this is just an initial video to show you what VR is like in Stormworks, uh, which feels totally cool. You can imagine being able to grab your radio and do all sorts of stuff here. So again, thanks for watching. Look forward to your comments. And um, yeah, see you in the next video.